you've got to give it. it. Yeah, yeah, you've got to give it some. And um, it's really good here from the Ukraine, but she's very comfortable, I think, on the backhand side with that heavy push. You see how much backspin mm -hmm. she's getting mm -hmm. on the ball. I think. I think in the forehand, I, I don't think, watching quite a few of her games, I don't think it's quite as much spin, and I think it's much more easy to attack to her forehand than it is to her backhand. Hence, as you so eloquently put, the, the, the attack lines there from Fung Chanwei going cross-table from the forehand to her forehand more. She got burnt in the last point. She doesn't want to do so there. So she's hearing you, Will. <laughs> <laughs> I think if she does... You know, if she does get attacked to her forehand, she has to try and attack that ball back almost sometimes, not just chop. She's got to try and be a bit proactive with her forehand top mm. spin. I know she can do it. I've seen it a few times. There you go. Yeah. Oh, that was a big spike off the backhand there, wasn't it? Really got on top of the table and crushed that one. So very confident in going from defence into attack off the backhand wing but not quite as much on the forehand is that what you're implying but the key shot there which she actually played a counter topspin in that rally where normally she'd have chopped it on the forehand and I think it just set her up to come in on the backhand yeah. there oh, from uh, temporarily playing catch up here in this game Having to work very, very hard and just demonstrating there that, you know, I can hit through and this is how I'm going to do it. If that ball pops up, she will just, yeah, it would, she's got too much power and she will just hit through the ball. Belenko's really got to keep that, that those chops as low as she can to the net, try and make it as difficult as she can for Feng to attack. That's anything she's looking for, isn't it? Any sort of up kind of ball, slightly elevated. She wants to get on top of it. A good old crash. Unleash the fury. <laughs> All these Singapore women are really dynamic, quick, powerful players. Yeah. Spinny players. So it's quite an interesting sort of combination of, of, of play. The Ukrainians, two defenders. Mm. Yeah, nice uh, contrasting game styles, yeah, isn't great. it? Yeah, great. Great to watch. And, you know, if you as a player watching back home, you know, are sort of admiring this, then there's so much to learn as you're informing us. It's great. And there's so much going on in this game that, that you know, a lot of people don't see the different spins that, mm. that Belenko can put on the ball, which makes it a bit more tricky for Feng than it looks, you know. The, the ball is spinning so much when she really makes that, that backhand push. Um, it's quite hard to lift. It's very, very difficult to play against. Feng Ten Wei makes it look quite easy sometimes. Mm. Yeah, and, 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 and for the layman watching that doesn't really play perhaps a lot of table tennis, you know, if you were to get against these kind of guys, they can just tie you in knots, right? I mean, it's just a, a joke, the different micro levels all the way up through to this heady international cream of the crop sort of level that we're watching here. Absolutely, the amount of backspin on the ball. Um, it would shock, I think, a lot of people and um, yeah. just go straight down onto the floor almost if yeah. you were to attack yeah. it. You well, know you often I mean? see it, don't you, Will? I mean, my sort of take on it is when you see this ball hit the deck, sometimes it'll just oodle around and sort of start playing tricks on the floor, almost dancing. You're like, what the, you yeah. know? So locked in at seven apiece then, coming towards the sharp end of game number two here. Can Fung have her way or will... Belenko, turn it hers. No angle down the middle of the table, defender. Yields in the end to the merciless power of Fung Chanwei. 
in the front hand away. A lot more comfortable against the forehand chop and it does pop up a little bit. And as soon as it does pop up, front hand away can make more power and put more pressure under Belenko. And I think that's that's the key play for front hand away. Belenko needs to try and counter counteract that somehow. Again, right at the body. Keeping the defender at arm's length, doing a really good business-like job here, the fourth player in the world. And uh, with it, she's engineered three game-point opportunities. Turnaround. Didn't expect that. Love that from Belenko, and she's got to play a bit more like this. She's got to throw chorus into the wind. It's a fantastic punch, backhand punch down the line. Saw the twiddle there mid rally as well. Yeah, very clever. Mm. So much going on tactically. So Fung denied one of those three game points. Can she take it at the second attempt? She's done it again. Kissed the edge on the way through, and nobody in the arena blinked, let alone from Tianwei. Wow, that was rapier like. Explosive off the backhand. Let's see it again. <laughs> How about that? Great I'm not surprised well. there's a timeout there, Will. My goodness. Two brilliant shots in a row from Belenka. Bit of pressure here from Tianwei. It's not the kind of game you really want to, you know, you need to close this out as, as, as soon as possible because yeah. it's one of those games that if you get locked into a battle, you know, yeah. it could become very draining. Yeah. Also for our next match coming yes. up, it's exactly what the Ukrainians will want. You know, the Ukrainians will want this game to... Keep her on the yeah, table, keep I guess, her on the is table there, For as long as they can, you know, the game, she's going to have to play again, you know, against um, against Gap and Over in, in the fourth game. So, you know, she can wear her down here as much as possible, you know. Why not? You may knew that in the picture. Third down the road. She'll be up next. Doesn't want to lose too much energy by hanging around. It's a difficult thing, that, isn't it, in the group dynamic? You don't want to tire yourself out by, by getting emotionally involved in your, your partner's, your compatriot's match, but at the same time, you want to help out. It's a, it's a tough one. Some players do, some players don't like watching. It's personal. Still, still one game point to, in favor of Fung Qianwei here. enough pace injected straight to the body line and handcuffing Tatiana Belenko it's Fung Qianwei that takes the second game as well as the first now she's two-thirds of the way home in this opening match here
What an impressive defender she is, Tatiana Belenko from Ukraine. The way that she can turn defence into attack so quickly, unexpectedly. But from Janway, as world number four, has the answers at the moment. Serving with a two-game cushion. That forehand chop again, just not quite enough on it, not quite low enough, and Funtan Wei just punishing, really, really punishing here to the body. And again, just too much power. Hesitancy there from Milenko. Tatiana Belenko is scything through the ball with underspin and cut. To no avail, though, Fung Chanwei with uh, all the answers right now. So, accordingly, her coach has called timeout. I think it's uh, it's key here. I think the coach might be saying, you know, when you can try and try and counter topspin, try to, you know, chop, 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 and then wait for the right ball to attack if she can. It's easier said than done, you know, when Fenton yeah, yeah. is, is bashing the ball at you at 100 miles an hour. But she has to try and try and do something proactively because otherwise she is getting picked off, you yeah. know. Yeah, she's getting caught into that sort of like that loop, isn't she, of not negativity but passivity. And, you know, as much as it's your sort of personality and your game style, it, 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 it's just not quite enough. As you say, the modern style defenders, they have to have something else in their game you know not just chop they need to be able to attack with quality as well mm. so with it all to do then Bilenko. and her game has taken her to 38th in the rankings a couple of years ago this lady in blue but not to the heady heights of being a top five player and having won this event in 2010 the way uh, Team Singapore have done in the past oh how they'd love to recreate that this year in Halmstad well, they're still on course but they haven't managed to uh, engineer a, a bye the way that uh, the very top four teams have And that's one of the things, isn't it, Will, in the knockout stages, if you're a top four team, you do get the luxury of the bye, and with it, of course, a much-needed rest day, which yeah. kind of gives you that edge, right? It can make a massive difference, but also, you could look at it the other way, maybe confidence building, you know, to play an extra round and, yeah. and play yeah. well in an extra round, so yeah. there's, there's different ways of looking at mm. it. I think it depends how many players you've got in the team, doesn't it? How much depth you've got. That's where it's all about. You know, you see a team like Belarus in the men's event we just covered. You know, a little bit of a standalone um, Vladi Samsonov. I mean, you know, his compatriots played well, but not quite enough. In fact, he was only one from two today, and it kind of let the side down, really. He could have got it in the bag had he won a second match. Anyway, enough of that. And that's the, the great thing about playing team event. You, you know, everyone's got to contribute to the to the team, and that's. I I, I love playing team events. I think it's uh, it's fantastic, and it it you know some of the weaker players can really raise their level playing with the better players in the team as well. Some of the lower ranked players. Nicely <laughs> bended again. Patient, tempered aggression from Fung Chanwei. She'll 
be really pleased the way that this is unfolding and she's managed to unravel and untangle all of these defensive questions that are coming her way and there's been plenty of them it's great to watch if you're a you know a player playing in the leagues back home wherever you are and how to play against chop if you struggle with chop I think this is a great example of how to play them yeah. you know mixing the attack lines changing it up exactly not pulling the trigger too early real discipline of shape and around the ball to obediently get it to get up and down over the net onto the table time and again Two, nine. now she has a little leeway she can be very very free swinging if she likes she has a cushion Well, it's masterful from Feng Tianwei. And here she is then with uh, what will be eight match point opportunities. Golfing ranking told in the end, Feng Tianwei wins her match, her opening match. Three games to love against the Ukraine. Good strong showing from the top Singaporean player who's just wrestling with a little bit of a cough by the looks of things. Secures the win and next up will be Yu Menu against Ghana Gapanova. The uh, real uh, strong performance from her last night and their team win over Hungary for the year of Ukraine. So don't go anywhere. We'll be back with that just after this. For uh, match number two then, on day four, round of 16 clash between the 8th seed Singapore and the Ukraine. And uh, if you are just joining us, welcome along in the company of Paul Hand and Will Bailey. And, uh, well, Singapore have taken the opening rubber courtesy of Feng Tianwei. And uh, here we are in our second match now. We're staring at uh, Ghana Gapanova of the Ukraine. And there's Yu Menu, former top 10 player. She's ranked ninth in the world a while back. She's now 50th in the world, the 28-year-old from Singapore. Aggressive playing style, quarter-finest at the Olympic Games and bronze in the Asian Cup a couple of years prior to that. Twice Commonwealth Games uh, runner-up. Ghana Gapanova, 32 years of age, ranked 63rd in the world. It's her 12th World Team Championships. And as you can see, round of 64 of the European Champs 2016 and 2018 uh, made the main draw of the Hungarian Open. Made the round of 16 in that very tournament, the Hungarian Open, in 2014. Saying hello to our Brazilian umpire for the uh, first time today. 
in our De Mario. And, uh, well, this is, now this is the one, and Will, you said so eloquently earlier, this is the banker for Ukraine, but she's going to have a work cut out here. She's playing a player ranked 13 spots higher, but you'd imagine this is the player that won two matches for the Ukraine yesterday in their fine win over Hungary 3-2 late last night. She was the star of the show, and you may knew, well, it's all about the start for her. I think Gap and over still big underdog here, but yeah, this is the one that Ukraine will be out and be thinking, you know, we've got to take this to have a chance in the overall match. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Copycat. Exactly look-alike to Tatiana Belinko who we just saw the, the only difference is I believe Gapanova I think is is a bit more comfortable forehand chop so I, I and I think it is still her weakness but I, I think that she's a bit more um, comfortable forehand chop and I think that will cause problems to the you know to, 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 all, to everyone really she's, she's a lot more com comfortable there and um, I think that's a key shot for her she needs to be um, making that forehand chop with a lot of backspin because it will be targeted as, as Belenko was but she is getting a lot of spin on that ball good start from the uh, marginal underdog if you want I guess actually it's hard to think of who's favourite for this one on ranking you suggest the former top tenor at the top of your picture in red but on current form with two wins yesterday tough to uh, bet if you're a betting person against gapping over good acceleration from you it's a very similar style isn't it Belenko and gapping over Almost like they've grown up together and played probably with each other and yeah. had the same coaches. Yeah, you can yeah. understand it, can't you? And that's how it works, isn't it? You know, you, you just roll with what's in your environment, right? You know, you're shaped and modelled by what you see and who you learn from. We saw in the last match, you know, Samsonov was, was out there and, and he was sort of followed up by Pavel Platonov, who was very similar in a way in game style in many respects. It, it's weird. Mm -hmm. Who you look up to as well, isn't mm. it? And the styles and you grow up with. I still think, though, the biggest driver of your game style, whether you're attacker or defender, is probably your personality type, isn't mm. it? You know. Down again, good discipline from the defender and good neutralising into attack here. The way she turned this around so beautifully, or tried to. She was advancing up the table with intent. You constantly attacking the forehand of Gapanova. Gapanova looks like she's got that covered at the moment. She looks pretty comfortable forehand side. Gapanova playing off a career high ranking.
coming in as well, Will, with a with a good uh, record of results this year. She's 17 wins and only nine losses coming into this tournament. And well, we know she had two wins yesterday alone, so uh, that'll give her another 500 points in itself. Twelfth World Team Championships or World Table Tennis Championships, I should say, not necessarily teams, but she's a, a lady of experience at this level, so she's, you know, she knows what it's all about, and she's proving a real handful here. dipped her toe in the water at this kind of level her first uh, world table tennis champs was in Zagreb in 2007 in Croatia very very experienced then playing mm. on the world tour for a long long time competitive opening game. said how she dipped her toe in the water at 2007 so grab all you and you joined one year later in 2008 Guangzhou Sixteen. really good first game here from gap and over she's one of those players if you're not feeling it she's sort of a nightmare player to play again mm, just keeps yeah. getting the ball back keeps making you play yeah they must keeps start. asking questions of you yeah nibble away at your psyche it must be a nightmare gotta work so hard nothing comes cheap she's frugal in error and look at that Ghana Gapanova steals the opening game 11 points to six it's a strong showing building on those heady wins of yesterday Ukraine one game up in this second match Game two. Kind of gapping over, seizing the opener. And this race to three. And she's deadly on that backhand down the line. That one narrowly missing, but it's that threat that's sort of just so difficult to play against. She could pull the trigger so quickly. And as an attacker, presumably, you just want to loop that ball up with security and height. But the last thing you expect is it to get attacked. And you men knew, full of hesitation, you can see it written all over what's happening out here now. She is unsure. Oh. 
And though all of the players in the Singapore women's side are attacking shake hand players, you'd imagine back home and what have you, and all around the tour, she's played against endless defenders along the way. But still really troubled with this one. It's not just loaded with chop, it's loaded with side as well, isn't it? Yeah, so many different types of spin, side and float, no spin as well. She can really mix it up, so it's a uh, yes, very high, high skilled chopper gap and over is defender. towards the towel chance just to uh, catch breath and calm down a little points uh, spinning away from her a bit lucky there I thought Gapanova should have put that backhand away mm. she's popped up for her and usually I think she would Solid put away, emphatically taken from you, Menu. Singapore will be really determined, won't they, to make amends for their maybe kind of got a disappointing Commonwealth Games in the team event. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. yeah, it was by would, their would be, standards. Would be going into it as, for me, heavy favourites. Yeah, and yeah. To lose out to India, and yet it's a wonder. Mm. Mind you, didn't they underperform as well in the earlier part of the week, really? I was speaking to a few of the guys about um, India's performance here and you know maybe they put so much on that Commonwealth Games and um, come here and maybe almost blown out you know by, the, by that and put everything into it and didn't have anything left really yeah, yeah. in the tank to come here yes. and to perform it's quite with hard the, to go back to back um, two big big competitions with all the emotionality the adulation the hugs the delight the jumping around the screaming it, you know it's got to pay it's you, you've got to pay a price for that it's got to take its toll it's a bit like us in the commentary booth they eh, will exactly all the excitement the week exactly. to in here it's just it's, it's tiring yeah. it's the best thing because it's so all-encompassing but it also takes its time mm. I used to um, practice with Stefan Edberg, who was world number one in tennis many years ago, and he was so chilled as a Swede, and uh, I had the luxury of playing with him a number of times, and Bjorn Borg as well, amongst other players. And those two in particular were just so chilled, it was unbelievable. I said, how come you guys just don't ever really seem to get excited? They said, well, because day to day, living at that tempo, you, you can't do it. You, you need that sort of downtime, otherwise you're just going to burn yourself out. And they're absolutely right because of course those better players the same in this sport as well when you get to the business end of the tournament they need something in, rever in reserve because you know, they're often there you know so that's very well. interesting because yeah. for me as a player I've played all my career tra training I train six hours a day every day and I think um, I've, I've played since I was ten years old and every day it's such a high tempo and I think now Ooh. as I'm getting older I'm learning that I've got to try and um, sort of like be Temperate. a bit more chilled be a bit more chilled in the training hall in the in the matches and sort of trust in the training that i've done and and relax and and like i team think a bowl two hours a day once two hours a day really efficient though with your set plays and incredible team yeah. bowl and yeah. i think improving because of that yeah. it is it's amazing yeah. you know some people think the more training you do the better you're going to be but i think it's the quality of practice and also Absolutely. the timing of your practice as yes. well yes 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 yeah, and such a, a, a premium on self-trust as well that you can deliver against the guys that have been putting in multiple hours. Anyway, back to the action. Oh, credit where credit's due. Yummy has done well to uh, turn this around, seemingly. Can she draw level in games? Yep. 
Really good. 10-5, five, five game points to you, Menu. indeed convincingly win the second game the Singaporean number two to draw level back for game three after the break So locked in then at one game apiece in this race to three games. Who's going to find a way through? Really difficult for Gappen over here that I've been in her position where it's almost this is the bank, this is the one that, that your teammates and, and, and the management and the coach have sort of penciled, penciled in. in to win. <laughs> yes. And it's just the... The pressure just starts to build, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Very tough. Well, I like what she was attempting to do with the change-up, with the heavy loops, just to give a different look. on the graphic of the match score Singapore 1-0 up courtesy of Fung Chanwei can her trusty compatriot back her up and give her a 2-0 look on that graphic shortly I love the way that Su Sin normally looks down at the table as if to what was that? What, what was that that it hit on the table? Because I, I don't miss that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and he rarely does miss them, yeah. to be honest. Yeah. Brilliant defence from Ghana Gapanova. Nibbling away at the psyche of the lady in red. Puts that.